Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we're making a casual Chinese dinner, which includes three delicious recipes. This will give you an idea of what a Chinese family eats on a regular day. The reason I labeled it as casual is that I want to show you how to pair dishes together with whatever you have on hand and be able to swap replacement when you don't have a certain ingredient. Also, I will give you lots of helpful tips and tricks so you can whip up a delightful dinner while keeping it easy and enjoyable. For those of you who have never made a Chinese dinner before, there are some unwritten guidelines, which is what today's three recipes are based on. The dinner must include carbs, which can be rice, noodles, or buns. Then there should be a balanced amount of proteins and vegetables for nutrition purpose. After that, we also like to add something nice and comforting, which is usually a soup or stew. Let's start by soaking the mushrooms. That way, we can prep the rest of the ingredients while they are rehydrating, which usually takes about two hours. But today, I'm actually soaking them with hot water, so it will only take 15 minutes. You can remember this tip. It will save a lot of time when you're rushing to cook. I have no idea what kind of mushrooms these are, but any type will work, including fresh mushrooms. You just have to skip the soaking. Now, we're going to work on the meat so that it has enough time to infuse with the marinade. Slice it into a quarter of an inch thick pieces. I'm using New York strip steak, but other tender cuts such as ribeye, sirloin, and flank steak will also work. The seasoning is super simple. A quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. You can do black if you want. A third teaspoon of baking soda to tenderize the meat. One and a half teaspoon of dark soy sauce for the color and a big drizzle of oil to coat the beef. This helps to separate the meat slices, making them easier to stir fry later. Here is another fact. For most Chinese stir fry dishes, you can easily switch the proteins to other meat without ruining the recipe. All right, set it aside for 15 minutes. During this time, we will get the rice on the stove. Just rinse it under running water and drain thoroughly. Add water and turn the heat to medium. It will take about five minutes to come to a boil, so we should have enough time to work on the vegetables. Quickly rinse it first. Separate the stem and the leaves. I'm using big bok choy, but any leafy vegetables that have crunchy stems will work, such as turnip green, mustard green, daikon cabbage, and Chinese broccoli. Besides that, I also prepared some minced garlic, ginger slices, diced Thai bird eye chilies, and shallot slices. Put all the chili and half of the garlic, ginger, and shallot next to the bok choy stem because they will go into the wok together so you don't rummage around when the heat is on. By now, the rice pot should be bubbling. We're gonna quickly prepare the Chinese sausage and cure the bacon. Don't forget to remove the skin first because it is tough. Add them to the rice pot, put on the lid, turn the heat to low, and let it cook with the rice for 18 minutes. The rice will absorb all the water very fast so the cured meat basically are steaming in the pot for most of the time. Two birds, one stone is also a great way to save time. Instead of cooking cured meat, you can put a steamer rack and steam some broccoli or green beans with the rice. That would be a nice side dish. One of my mom's favorite thing to do is to cut some sweet potatoes into smaller size and throw it into the rice, let them cook together. I loved it when I was a little kid. <laughs> I can give you many more other examples, but as for now, we have to cook the beef. Turn the heat to high and heat the wok until smoking hot. 
add some cooking oil and swirl it around so it covers the bottom. Add the beef, spread it out, let it cook until the meat changes color. The heat is on high, so this will take no longer than two minutes. Remove the beef from the wok. Make sure you tilt the wok so you can leave the oil behind. Set the beef aside. To the same wok, we will toss in the bok choy stem along with the garlic, ginger, shallot slices, and the Thai bird eye chilies. We will reserve the leaves for making the soup. It's so satisfying to use different parts of the ingredients for multiple recipes based on their texture and the taste. Keep stirring over medium heat for a couple of minutes or until the stem is a little soft. Season it with oyster sauce and soy sauce. Make sure you drizzle the soy sauce from the side of the wok so the heat can caramelize it and create complex flavors. Introduce the beef back into the wok and mix well. The dish is done. Set it aside. Now we're going to make the soup. Heat a saucepan and add oil. Toss in some minced garlic, ginger, and shallot slices. Here is my special ingredient. One and a half tablespoon of sun-dried baby shrimp. It has a strong umami taste, which goes really well with the mushrooms. However, I understand not everybody has access to buy this ingredient. In this case, don't struggle. Just think of other things that also has a nice umami taste, such as dried anchovies, Japanese vanilla flakes, or a little bit of shrimp paste. The aromatics are slightly golden on the edge. That is the cue to add the mushroom along with its soaking liquid. Turn the heat to medium and it will take a few minutes to come to a boil, which means we can check the rice. It's done cooking. Take the cured bacon and the sausage out. Slice them thinly. Some of you may wonder, is that it? Don't you need to fry the sausage and the bacon? Believe it or not. Steaming is actually the most popular way to enjoy Chinese cured meat because they are cured with the dry method. Pan frying will make the meat less juicy and steaming retains the best flavor and texture. All right, the soup has come to a boil by now. Toss in the bok choy leaves. They only take a few seconds to cook. I like to add a tablespoon of gogi berry. A little bit of red makes the dish more beautiful. Season it with salt and white pepper. And we are done. You just made a complete dinner in 30 to 40 minutes. It is delicious, healthy, budget friendly, and enough to serve a four member family. I got to mention the rice. It tastes so much better because it absorbs some flavors from the cured meat. Cooking is fun. Sometimes you don't have to follow the recipe strictly. It's always good to use whatever you have and make it the fastest way you can. I hope this video is helpful. As always, the printable recipe link is in the description. Go check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more easy and authentic Chinese food. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!